Lin is well aware that a cashless society means banks take on a huge amount of power. And that's a cause of concern to at least one institution in the Swedish capital, the central bank. It believes the move towards more electronic payments is positive, but also foresees potential challenges in eradicating cash completely. If cash would go away, and we tend to think about cash as being the uh, uh, last line of defense, so to speak, that if you can pay in no other way, you can still pay in cash. But if cash is not there and we experience some kind of uh, disturbance in the electronic uh, payment systems, how, how do we pay then? How can we get food, fuel, and these kind of things that we need in our daily life? There are still many questions surrounding the whole idea of a cashless society. As one of the guardians of Swedish financial stability, the central bank, or Riksbank, is busy weighing up its options. The Riksbank should possibly issue a digital means of um, payment, so, like a digital currency, and we call it the uh, e-krona. Uh, this is something that would be completely new for a central bank to do, and there's no one that we can really watch and learn from, so we have to do all the footwork by ourselves, and we are just investigating yet to learn more about that option. So how would a digital currency issued by a central bank work? Take Germany's central bank, the Bundesbank. It issues euros in the form of coins and notes. In future, ordinary Germans might have an account directly with the Bundesbank. Unlike with a private bank, this money would continue to belong to the account holder, in theory making it as secure as cash. Or would it be better to retain a minimum supply of cash and have that written into law? For the students in Siegen, there's plenty to consider. Give it 10 or 15 years and I think we won't be able to use cash hardly at all anymore. Not if things continue on their current trajectory. I think we're heading towards a totally monitored society where everyone will know that their lives are transparent and will act accordingly and try not to draw too much attention to themselves. What the future holds is not yet clear. What is clear, a world without any cash at all poses numerous risks. The main problems of cash in society are one, it creates a far more surveillance, so you create a, essentially a financial surveillance state. Two, it excludes a lot of people who can't get access to digital payment systems. Three, it opens you up to way more risks of cybersecurity, so massive cybersecurity risks. Um, four, it decreases the resilience of your payment systems. So, for example, cash has no central point of failure. You know, you can't bring it down, as it were. Um, whereas the digital payment systems, you can turn them off, literally. Um, and that point's important for stuff like, and politically it's important because um, one of the implications of cashlessness is the increased ability to essentially turn off people that you don't want to do things. So you can, it can be used for political repression as well.